here for the sheep. I know that sounds awful, but there's sheep in the field next door to the house. Well, and with a new microphone on top of the camera. So we're giving that a try out here in the wind. The wind's blowing more or less straight into the front of it here. So we're trying to see if we can get up without all the clipping and mucking about. But there's wee lambs in the field here. And we're just working with different f-stops, different apertures. To try and blur backgrounds and make foregrounds blurry and try and keep the lambs in perfect focus. But they're very far away from me at the minute. So I'm thinking my plan will be to fly the drone over and see if I can't sort of herd them this way. I don't know, it might work. Right, my drone idea wasn't much of a gore. It's very, very windy. Blowing straight in the face and where I was standing at there, sort of in below, in below a lot of trees and stuff. And I'm not just that fantastic on the drone. I'm not now, we're just walking through a slap. Did you ever hear what a slap is? Right, we've changed the plan. We're coming up the field on the other side of the hedge from where the sheep are. So we might be able to snipe them through the hedge. Might work, might not work. If it doesn't work, this video is going to be never aired. The problem will be we're shooting straight into the sun. So they're going to be sort of backlit. I'm not just sure what way it's going to work. But we'll get back to you when we get set up and we'll see how we're getting on. So we have them here right beside us. On the other side of the fence. Probably can hear them. We're just trying to get some kind of interaction between the lambs, you know, bouncing about or jumping or doing something funny together. Just one of those things close to home. It'd be nice if we could have got to the other side of them with the light shining on them. We're back at the matter, which isn't the end of the world, it gives them a great a great sort of a halo. They're all taking off now, I've started talking. Not much point in taking pictures of sheep's bums. There's two points to this video. One, road microphone. Checking it out to see how good it is in the wind. I'm fairly chuffed with it so far, we'll see what it's like, you'll know what it's like now already, but hopefully it's okay. The uh, the other one was the aperture. Now ideally I didn't want to shoot the sheep back like the way I had to do, but it's hard to get them to come to you, it's hard to get them to come close enough, even with sort of a 70 to 200, it's still, <laughs> when you get a big mass of field like that there, they want to run away. So we were behind the hedge at that time there, and they did, they sort of came fairly close, so they were really close actually. I think they were just nosy more than anything else, but I want to let you see the F2.8. Like this sheep here that you're looking at, you know, these two wee lambs, you can see the background's all blurred, you can see the foreground's blurred, and you can see the lambs are in focus. Now that's at F2.8. Normally with my landscape stuff, it's shot at F11, so it leaves it, there's a lot more depth of field in the photograph so it's from front to back it's as sharp as I can get it and it leaves it then that when you have a photograph hanging on the wall it's sharp from front to back because you want as much of it to be interesting as possible but sometimes blurring backgrounds and blurring foregrounds can be beneficial and you can see there when shooting sheep like these aren't portrait photo or these aren't portfolio photographs or anything like that there but it gives you an idea of, of the sort of the artistic sort of slant on it where you can if you want to blur the backgrounds or blur the foregrounds and, and keep the thing in, in focus it draws your eyes straight to the actual thing in the photograph that you want the viewer to look at I'm waffling on now I just wanted to give you a brief look at that there I wanted to get out with this microphone close to home to see how good it was going to be fingers crossed going to be out tomorrow morning probably go to the seaside not just sure where yet, but it'll be the next video along the line. The weather at the minute is blue sky, sun shining, but it's not really, it's not for landscape photography, this sort of weather. And it's not even for flying the drone because it's, it's windy. It's, although I'm in the shelter here now, this 
The microphone should be doing a lot better now because we're completely in the shelter. Look, these sort of trees in the background are blocking all the wind from coming through. I'm pretty chuffed with this mic so far, just listen to the back of the camera. Hopefully it's good enough and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.